millennials have been living with security challenges since 9-11 as part of their daily life, whether it's security at the schools they go to or, you know, the travel they undertake or whatever. It's all become part of how they think life is. But as a result, they're much more willing to trade some of that privacy that gets everybody concerned now that they realize that if you're in urban America, you're likely on camera. If millennials could care less about that, they would rather get in front of the camera. So right. that, that trade-off of privacy for security is something that I think we'll see more of as millennials become I, more I agree. And, uh, you know, the one fear, again, with, with civic generations is they may go so far in the direction yes. of security that, that, that it could end up curtailing civil liberties. And that's I think, is a bit of a danger. But well, I know, think it's very likely, in fact. Right. It'll take a while before it pendulum swings back the other way, right? Right. You'll but that, but that's always been a, yeah. a conflict in American society right. uh, and the American political process. That's one of the, 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 the things we have to balance. And in some eras, when idealist generations like the boomers are around, or individualist generations like the Xers are around, we tend to go toward the privacy side, toward the uh, little bit of social dislocation. And with generations like civic generations that tends to tighten up. Yeah, I mean, you, you, the people screaming the loudest about the privacy issues, of course, are all boomers. Right. And Xers are saying, yeah, yeah, we don't want government to have that bad thing called government. And millennials are saying, well, I don't know. What do we get in return? Do I get safety? Maybe I want to talk about this. Yeah, and so if, if you're caught on camera planning a bomb, then maybe you should be caught on yeah, camera. Exactly. 